Hello and welcome. You join me again down at Milton Pool Fisheries today on a very windy and blustery day. It's about 30 mile per hour, gusts of about 40 as well. So not greatly brilliant, but we'll deal with it. Uh, I've settled up in the first swim and we're going to give it a go there. I've got a beautiful marginal shelf just to the left of me and another marginal shelf to the uh, right of me. So I'm going to be putting some baits on there. We're going to have a look at tackle and bait in a minute. But for now, I just want to get the rods out, see if we can find a few carp. If we can't uh, find the carp, obviously, I'm going to pack up and move in winter time. You want to be on the fish. You can have the best bait in the world and not be on the fish. You're not going to catch. So we'll give it a few hours in this swim and hopefully we'll catch a few fish. If not, then we're going to make a move. I do apologise for uh, the wind, but... I can't help the weather, unfortunately. So let's get the baits out, and we're gonna crack on. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for a bite, just let you know what tackle and bait I'm using at the moment. It's got 12 foot, two and three quarter pounds of curved cart rods, bait rudder reels, 12 pound main line. And I've got them both out on PVA bags, solid PVA bags with uh, 12 mil beta stim micro feed pellets. And uh, the rig is just a little two ounce inline pair and a short hook length of 12 pound braid size 8 wide gape hook and just a little bit of shrink tubing just to kick it off and for bait it'll either be if I can find where I put my bloody bait it'll either be one of these orange cool. one of these orange uh Fluoro pop-ups, it's tangerine, mm. or be the red ones, which is strawberry. Oh, that's got a really nice flavour to it. Kind of smells like those Harry Bow strawberry sweets, and I'm hoping a fruity flavour will work today. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. It's very dismal, very bleak. The weather's been absolutely terrible still, up and down the country. Managed to get one day on the river just before the other two storms come in, but now it's it's just it's completely unfishable, and I doubt very much I'll be able to get back on there before the end of the season, which is a shame, really. But I'm sure most of you river anglers are uh, in the same position as well. But that's the tackle and that's the bait for today. Fingers crossed, we're going to bag a few. I just want. One, one would be nice in these conditions. Just to get a bend in a rod would be sweet. But if not, that's fishing. Well, we've got a bite. That is a lovely looking ghost car. Oh, there we are. Beautiful little uh, common ghost carp. Strawberry fluoro pop up. 10 pounds, two ounces, brilliant. Let's have a quick look at him. Whee. It's flexing a bit there. There we are. It's a bit windy, so he's blowing around a little bit, but it's a beautiful looking carp. We're gonna get him back. Well, there's absolutely no need to weigh this one. Whee. A scrappy little common, but I think I'm going to make a move now to the other side of the lake. See if we can find a few more of them because I don't think I'm on the right spot right now. Oh, I think the temperature's dropped a little bit. So so far we've had the ghost carp. I'm going to have that little scrappy common. Cool. But I don't think I'm in the right spot. So I'm going to pack the bits down and again. This wire travel light just in case I do need to move. I'm gonna pat the bits down and I think I'm gonna try on the far end of the other uh, side of the lake and uh, fish, fish the uh, last few hours down at that part and see if we can pick up a few more fish. Right, get the rods in and uh, down to the next wind.
Okay, so I've moved into the second swim now. Hoping we can uh, grab one from this swim too. It's been very, very difficult today. The wind's really not helping that as much. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's picking up speed as we progress into dusk. But I've got one just in the corner and one up against the far margin. Uh, both of them on PVA bags still. And fingers crossed we're gonna pull one more out before I have to go. The cow's going off in the background and the move was well worth it. I know he's only a small one, he's a scrappy little one too, but it's a lovely fully scaled mirror. Crikey, I think they're feeding them. I'm going to get this one back because he's quite feisty. Hopefully we'll get one more before we go, but if not, considering today's conditions, I'm happy with it. Unfortunately, that was the last fish of the session, but I decided to return to the exact same swim five days later using the exact same method and bait, and was hopeful that the carp were going to be feeding a little bit more due to the improvement of the weather, albeit still quite chilly and still very windy. I persisted throughout the day, but unfortunately there wasn't a single bleep on the alarm. And a storm came rolling in, meaning I had to hunker down in my shelter and get out of the way of the wind and rain. It didn't look like the carp were going to be feeding anytime soon, but I was hopeful that dusk may produce a bite, and it certainly did. Well, it's taken pretty much all day just to get one bite, but well worth it. It's a 12 pounds, eight ounce. Look at the colors on this. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful gold. As soon as it calms down, I'll be able to lift her up for you. How about that for a mirror? Wow, I've never seen one so orange. That is an absolutely stunning color. Beautiful. Look. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the point. 12 pounds, eight ounce. One bite, that's all I wanted. That's what I got. Very happy with that.